So for today, we're going to be looking at the end of the week for all of the vendors. If you guys don't know, we usually look at this at the end of the week, usually Sunday, but I'm starting to do these a little later than I would like. So that's just me being dumb. But let me know what you guys think about all the vendors. We're going to be looking at 801, Banshee, Zer, and Eververse in that order. So that way you guys are aware of what's leaving. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, uh, before we get to the fit for the video, I might as well show you, or yeah, I might as well show you the fit for the video. So this is it right here. This is obviously going to be using the Omega Mechano strides. Um, I've already made the set. I'm going to be posting it tomorrow, even though I said I was going to post it Friday. I <laughs> unfortunately had to work a lot of hours uh, the last few like days of the week because uh, I took a day off, an extra day off. So that's why I didn't have it on Friday because I was exhausted. But usually I should have these done by Friday. So for this video or for this set, Superior Visions Cal for the arms, we're going to be using the Liar's Handshake with the Thalia's Reach ornament the virulent vest, the Omega Mechanos, and the Neoteric Hyot Cloak. So this is like just random. I'm gonna be honest, like there is no theme for this one. It's just like this, there's armor here and there's armor on the opposite side. Therefore, I want to make it even. So that's really it. There is really nothing here that's like, oh yeah, like there's a theme to this. There is no theme. Dreaming Spectrum also, is there is no theme behind that because unfortunately this blue doesn't change color and Dreaming Spectrum is pretty good for this. So. Let me know what you guys think about the example set. But for 801, let's be looking at the shaders, which is going to be Shadow Guilt. Shadow Guilt is definitely a good shader. You guys should pick it up. It's a really good purple and gold. Be aware, though, that the gold is an off color. So that is really annoying. But there again, it is really, really a good color. So definitely pick it up. Uh, New Pacific Rush. This is from Vanilla Destiny 2. Definitely pick it up because it is a rare shader considering this is from Vanilla Destiny 2. That being said, I don't know how rare it is now considering she sells this almost every day or every week, I should say. And the new Monarchy Regalia, which is another Vanilla Destiny 2 shader specifically from the factions, which do not exist anymore. So that is cool, I guess. And for the armor set, it's going to be the Destiny 1 Vanilla Armor. So I would actually recommend you guys to pick this armor up, even though I'm not the biggest fan of, like, for example, the boots for the Hunters or the arms i would still pick them up because you might never know when some of the pieces might be really useful um i like the helmet the helmet's actually one of my favorites i just wish that the eyes changed color uh the chest piece is legitimately my favorite piece for a hunter when i think of a hunter this is the chest piece i think of and the cloak i think is super dope as well a little bit different than the one from destiny one because i feel like it's just doesn't look the same but that could just be me re misremembering for the Titans, I'm going to be honest, I'm not a big fan of a lot of it. I think the helmet is really cool. The chest piece can definitely be utilized. It's just a little small, and that goes for the arms and the boots as well. They're a bit small for my taste, and then the mark is just kind of like boring. For the Warlocks, helmet is super dope. I think the chest piece is super dope. I think the arms and boots are a little bit boring, but definitely be utilized very well. And then the Bond, I think, is pretty cool, but at the same time, very boring as well. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up for me to one. As for Banshee, we have Scathelock with Surplus and Sympathetic Arsenal, True Prophecy with Field Prep and Rampage, Farewell with Rangefinder and Frenzy, Distant, Distant Timulus with Pulse Monitor and Firing Line, and then Fallen Guillotine with Relentless Strikes and On Guard. So there really is nothing here that I'm like, ooh, that's really cool. Like maybe the Farewell, but I'm not a big fan of Frenzy personally, and Rangefinder is nerfed, so I would probably just say ignore all of these. As for Zer, he is selling the Acreus Catalyst, which is really good. Definitely, you should pick it up. Suros Regime, which is also really good. Uh, Ophidia Spathe with... Damn, Resilience is really high, but that recovery's dog shit. Mask of the Quiet One with high mobility. Promethean Spur with actually decent rolls. I actually would get this considering I'd bump up that Resilience to a plus 10. Then you would have a, what, 22... 18 18 13 once you master work this which is pretty decent and relativism which i don't even have enough strange coins for that so let's go to the other stuff hawk moon with quick draw we have crimson borealis and then two-tailed fox for the weapons we have voltom draw with archer's temple and adagio spare rations with snapshot sites and vorpal wishbringer with field prep and auto loading holster widow's bite with feeding frenzy and disruption break Falling Guillotine with Energy Transfer and Surrounded, Corsair's Wrath with Moving Target and Thresh, and then Quick Fang with Tireless Blade and One for All. For the armor, it's going to be the Anti-Extinction Armor for all the classes, I'm pretty sure. It's 
basically the EDZ armor with some um, whatever the fuck their their name was. I forget what their name was called. It's been that long now that I've uh, what is it? Dead Orbit? Yeah, there we go. Dead Orbit. So I'm gonna tell you guys right now. I don't really like a lot of these pieces. If you want to just get the basic bitch armor with no insignia, you're going to want to go to the EDZ, talk to what's his face. He'll give you the armor after like you complete some things. I think if I remember correctly, you have to level him up or something, or he just sells it to you all right now. But yeah, I mean, the helmet is pretty cool. The two white like lines do not change color. So if you don't like that, I mean, anything with the dead orbit symbol is not going to change color, which means the, the chest piece, one of the package or the uh, pockets have that insignia. One of, one of the shoulder pads on the arms has that. The whole cloak has that. I think the boots have it as well. So there's a bunch of pieces that just will not have that. Uh, for the Titans, I... As for titans we have the helmet which is really really cool uh the arms and so like a lot of it is really terrible i'm gonna be honest with you just because again the insignia is pretty terrible the boots specifically have like a black and white line on the right side of the leg that goes just doesn't change color um yeah warlocks you guys are not any different honestly your the insignia is just everywhere for it as well i think the the chest piece, the helmet, and the arms are the only ones that are really like bad. The arms and the boots are not as bad if I remember correctly. But honestly, at this point, I really don't give two shits about this armor. I mean, I used to give it like some pretty good praise, but now it's just I'm just not the biggest fan of it. So personally, I would just tell you pick up the EDZ set. It's just way better and way less annoying in my opinion. As for the armor rolls, I'll have them up right now. So yeah, let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Zer. I personally think uh, he needs to stop selling. Like, I really wish his armor selection was a little bit better. Like, give us some old seasonal stuff. I would love to see, like, maybe some of the ornaments from Crucible. Maybe, well, to be fair, like, I feel like those things would be in those specific playlists. So I guess that would be but dumb. But, like, something in that, that way, like in that rarity like something cool that's like oh shit we've never seen this before like i would love that instead of this armor that we've seen a bunch of times so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from zer as for eververse we have the carbon blood ornament or shader i should say um which is really really cool definitely a good red just be aware it's the off color um byzantium lotus the omega mechano strides for the hunters which again Blue does not change color. Let's just go to the other classes that way you guys are just aware for the other ones because I do think the other ones are pretty cool. Um, that being said, I will be posting the Omega Mechano boots tomorrow. Um, again, I apologize that I should have had it on Friday, but again, I had extra work late last week, which is why I did not have time to do that. Um, these boots are really cool. I like the example set that I made with the with these just because it did, it did come out pretty cool. Just be aware that this knee is bigger than this knee for whatever reason. And then Warlocks, yours is uh, not that great in my opinion. Um, it's asymmetrical and in a really funny way. It's just so huge. So I am excited for Tuesday so that way we can see the next piece. It's most likely going to be the arms just because I think the helmet and the class item are usually the last pieces that they sell. Usually because those are the best pieces. Um, so actually the arms were the first week. So it's probably going to be the chest piece most likely. Just because uh, that's the other piece they usually sell before we get... Again, the helmet and the class item is usually the last piece that we get. So most likely the chess piece is going to be next, next, which is going to be cool because I actually like the chess piece for a lot of them. Um, the only unfortunate part is I do see some blue in here for the hunters. So these this blue but might not change color, which is going to be a problem for me. So yeah, let's get back to Eververse real quick. So we have Stargazer. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have the Lost Found. So I made an ornament with this set. Actually, I can show you on the tight Hunters real quick so, so that way you guys are aware of what style it's going to be. Um, spoiler alert, it's going to be an all black look because, spoiler alert, this gun ornament is black. So the, obviously, I'm going to go for a tactical look. This is the first one that I made, and I really, really like this one. So yeah, the Titans and Warlocks, you guys also have your sets as well, which I'm really excited to make that video. I might make it um next next not next week but like within this week so that way you guys can see it that being said i might 
No, this video should be more than enough to make tell you guys pick this ornament up because it's fucking bitchin', bro. It looks super cool. So if you don't pick it up and I make that video and you're like, I didn't pick it up, but you saw this video, it's not my fault. You can eat my ass. Uh, Jovian, uh, whatever this number is, 20 or not 20, uh, 11, I think. Pretty cool. Tentacles do not change color. We have a Synchrotron Shell. Uh, Roaring Primeval. Standout pose. This is a JoJo's reference, as in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, the anime, you know? This is a reference to that. Uh, Sophisticated Spy, which is the 007 one. And then we have Renewal Entrance. Sterling Neutrino Effects, which looks pretty cool. Hive Arrival. Then Copper Brand for the first shader. Carbon Blood again. First Light. And then last but not least, Smashing Success. So that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from all of the vendors. I definitely think this ornament is worth a pickup just because Kavasta, like this just looks super cool in my opinion. Again, I'm like a huge whore for tactical sets. It probably started from like Metal Gear, honestly, just because Metal Gear has a lot of cool tactical stuff and Metal Gear 4 even more so. Well, more tech. Well, what game started it? I would say Metal Gear 3 started it, but Metal Gear 4 is the one I remember the most of it. So yeah, I just... That's just me personally. Um, I have a few things to note. I have made a Space Marine video. I'm going to be posting that probably tomorrow, if I'm being quite honest. We'll see. But yeah, I've already made the Space Marine video actually to the point where I actually already like it's legitimately in the actual channel now. I just need to find a time to actually post it. But if you guys are wondering what the thumbnail looks like, I'll show you guys right now which it's a long video man like legitimately it's a really long video a customization overview which we just looked at all the customization options in pvp specifically pvp because in pvp you see everything you see the pve stuff you see the pvp stuff which is just the chaos marine stuff and it's really cool i'm really happy to play this game because it's really really fun pvp is actually pretty fun as well i'll probably have some gameplay of it right now but i am enjoying the shit out of the game I also am going to be posting my like story campaign stuff. Uh, this is the first episode. I'll have it up right now. And yeah, I'm going to be posting the story in the second channel. So if you guys are wondering how the game plays or how it feels, I will have that there as well. So that way you guys can see it on the second channel. And yeah, it's funny because I wasn't expecting Space Marine to be the first non Destiny 2 content that I would be posting in the channel, in this channel specifically. But the customization is really cool. I see a lot of potential in it. And especially with since we have a frame of the first game, they also had that game also had customization. It wasn't as deep as it is in this one, considering you can change a lot of the pieces from your actual Space Marine. So it's a little bit more in depth. And I'm hoping that the future packs that we get can mix and match pieces because that will be really, really good. So yeah. Uh, I'm going to be covering uh, Space Marine for sure in this channel from the there's a bunch of stuff. Actually, I wrote down a bunch of stuff the other day of just what I'm going to be doing for it. And it's a lot. So, yeah, if you are wondering how Space Marine is, it's really, really good. I definitely would recommend it if you guys want to play something else, because Destiny 2 is kind of um, dry right now. To, and that's putting it mildly. It's just not it right now. I mean, to be fair, we still have like, what, three weeks, I think, of time before we get to the to the. Uh, next episode so that is really cool but yeah let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming to this point remember uh posting a bunch of destiny 2 content this is not it you guys have a lot more to go through and then after that we'll start posting a bunch of other stuff uh the space marine will be the exception the final actually a lot of it's gonna just be posted whenever i'm done with it so appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later